Hello, Siouxland. My name is Rick Lacey, and I am privileged to play bassoon and contrabassoon in your Sioux City Symphony Orchestra. Um, today I'd like to share with you a couple of excerpts that I've played in the symphony before that I've been thinking about during this time. Now, the first excerpt I played for you was from the Concerto for the Left Hand by the great French composer Ravel. It's kind of a unique piece, uh, unique in the start because it opens with that contrabassoon solo and also unique in the circumstances in which it was written. Ravel wrote this piece on commission from an Austrian concert pianist who had lost his right arm during World War I, and, you know, hence why it's called Concerto for the Left Hand, because he couldn't use the right hand for it. Now, this piece means a lot to me because I was privileged to get to play it with the great Leon Fleischer and the Sioux City Symphony Orchestra, and that's an experience that I will personally never forget and also because it's been a very hopeful piece for me because there's great tragedy and th this pianist losing his arm and, and great sorrow and everything with the World War, but out of that, you know, you shouldn't give up and great beauty can come from even tragedy and sorrow like that. The next excerpt I'd like to play for you is from Pines of Rome by the great composer Respighi. It's from the second movement, Pines Near the Catacomb, and this isn't a... Uh, solo in the same way that the concerto for the left hand is a solo for the contra bassoon. I'm playing it with, with the rest of the bassoon section. That's kind of why I've been thinking about it, is that, you know, it's really hard to be off the stage, and I miss my colleagues in the bassoon section there, and I really hope to get to play with them again as soon as possible in the future. I'd like to thank you for listening and thank you for your support of the symphony over the years. Uh, some of my best memories have been on the stage of the Orpheum and, you know, I, I know this has been a very difficult time for everybody and it's been a very difficult time for me and all I can say is that I hope you are doing well, I hope you're staying safe, I really do miss you and I hope to see you again on the stage of the Orpheum very soon and I'd also like to thank you know, the, the innovation and perseverance shown by Maestro Haskins and Travis Morgan and the rest of the leadership of the symphony and doing these to, to keep connected with you and keep connected with the community in some way. I'd like to close by saying that, you know, of all the memories I've had with the orchestra, one of the fondest ones was when we played Star Wars a couple years back. And um, I realized with all the crazy stuff going on this year, that I really didn't get to do anything for the International Star Wars May the 4th Day. So this is a little bit of Star Wars to end a belated tribute to May the 4th.